I never thought I would be compelled to make a video like this. I never thought that, you know, Facebook was going to be a place where I would feel like I need to post this. A video about how COVID-19 has killed thousands and thousands and thousands across the globe in the past few months. And racism, which has killed so many more since the beginning of man. The fact that people need to be educated on that. It's, it's disheartening. Uh, I just got off a video conference call with uh, teachers and students. Our school, one of my favorite things about my school that I work at is that they want to give the students voices. Because oftentimes students are neglected. Students are, oh, you're too young. Don't, don't worry, you're too young. Your opinion doesn't matter. You know, a few decades ago, people weren't too young to be brought to lynchings. You can see photos all the time of that. Fighting for what is right, you're never too young. And you're never too old. Trying to grow and better yourself and those around you, you're never too young. And you're never too old. In the conference call, there were a lot of students and teachers that spoke and it continued to break my heart. For those of you who don't know, I work near Baltimore and we have a school that has predominantly black and brown students. And hearing them talk and hearing them express their feelings about what has just transpired recently. <laughs> I, I, I can't put into words how, how I feel. Um, and I'm a white male, all right? Let's take that. I'm a white male and I can't put into words how I feel about what they're, they're saying. So I'm just going to take what they say and tell you guys, because you, you, most of you guys, actually all of you guys, we're not in that meeting. So uh, one student, 10th grader, talks about how when he was younger, his mom told him, make sure you're nice to others so they don't have a reason to hate you. Don't do drugs. So they don't have a reason to label you as a bad kid. And then he says, but then why do they hate me? Great kid, gets good grades on the athletic and so many sports teams, is very active. Why do they hate me? And he started to break down. The fact that this kid's 15 years old and he does everything. He does everything right. Why do they hate me? What's your answer? What's your answer? Why are you so against Black Lives Matter? Why are you so against justice? I had a, a teacher, a co-worker, talk about how when a police officer or law enforcement in general are behind him, he gets scared. He talks about how his son is now driving and he's scared for his son. Not because, you know, he might slip on ice while driving. Not because he might text and drive. But because by the way he is born, the color of his skin, that he might be mistreated. When law enforcement drive behind me, I hope I don't get a ticket for something I did wrong by speeding. He is just fearful that by the color of his skin, he could be mistreated. There were numerous other students who spoke up and, and, and talked about how much pain they're in. There was a young lady who, who talked about how she's explaining this situation to her younger siblings. She's 16 years old. 16 years old. And this is the world we created. They're younger than us. They didn't create this world. We did. And some of you guys voted for people who are perpetuating and making this situation worse. So what are you going to do next? If last week 
yesterday or even today becomes the day where you're you're gonna you're gonna launch off and say, you know, what? I'm gonna educate myself. I want to become an ally. That's great. Grow. Growth is the most important thing we can do. But for those of you who have have just been complacent with this, because that's the way it is. Disgusting. That's a disgusting heart. It's it's disheartening. Because on my, my birthday was a few days ago and people posted happy birthday on my wall. It's not a time to celebrate. You post happy birthday on my wall, but you're silent about all of these issues. And I know not everyone posts on, on social media. I know that and I get that. And maybe that's not your way of supporting. Maybe you want to educate yourself, educate others, um, attend protests. All of those things are amazing things. But I know there are many of you who have chose to stay quiet about this issue. Have so it's not it's not an issue. Have have chose to remain quiet about Black Lives Matter. Who have chose to only focus on the riots. You've tried to, to pinpoint it and be like, this is it, this is what I'm gonna go after. The riots, which have been confirmed to mostly not be started by peaceful protesters. Disgusting. It breaks my heart because oftentimes when I'll talk to people or you know they maybe we'll catch up and they'll say, Oh wow, you work near Baltimore? Wow my gosh, bless your heart, blah 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 blah. No. Why is it because I'm working with students? Because they're black and brown? That they are less than that bless my heart for doing No. They're human beings. They're kids who are going to school. And working so hard. They're, 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 they're smarter. They're better humans. They have gone through much more. Yet they always come out positive. And it's disgusting. That, be, that, that, that people think. Oh my gosh the work you do is great. No. This is something, well, before I talk about this, it's important to know that my feelings don't really matter right now. And what I mean by that is it is important to feel, it's important to have emotions and to express your emotions. But right now, my job is to use my physical and emotional energy to support the Black Lives Matter movement. My job is to ask for guidance and say, how can I be an ally? What can I do to best support? So how I feel, my, 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 my hurt, is, is nowhere near the hurt that other communities, other communities are facing at this moment. And my job is not to focus on me. It is to focus on what I can do the changes I can help create so the kids I teach so the kids I will have in the future don't have to worry about this stuff because I'm hoping I'm hoping in 30 years when new textbooks come out whether they're in print or they're on the computer that my kids don't point at that and, and see someone that they know or they say hey dad can you help me with this and I look oh I know that face. And you're on the wrong side of history. I hope you use today as a jumping off point to educate yourself. But again, my emotions and my feelings do not matter at this time. But I will address this one question because I've received it several times from several different people. <coughs> so I will answer this one question. This, these are my Drew Brees jerseys. I became a Saints fan in 2006 when he joined the Saints. I'm absolutely appalled by his comments. The fact that during this week, when everything that transpired, he 
defiantly, he put his foot down and talked about how he doesn't support people who sit, who kneel during the anthem. That of all the times, he chose now to be the time. And that shows his privilege, that shows his ignorance. Drew, I know you're probably not going to watch this video. I hope you reconcile. I really hope you take the time and you issued an apology and I hope it was sincere. I hope you take the time to grow, to educate yourself, to talk to people and to try to learn. Because you and me, we don't understand what's going on. But all we got to do is ask. All we got to do is read. There are, there are blog posts, there are journals, there are articles, there are scientific and research studies to show that these injustices are real. If you are choosing to not talk about it, if you are choosing to not educate yourself, I pray for your heart. Because right now, right now is not a time to ignore it. People have been advocating for years, years, decades, centuries for basic rights. And I'm glad we're doing better but better is not good enough better got slavery ab abolished and then guess what came the three-fifths compromise that was a better but that's not our best and we've continually got better but why are we taking baby steps on a human rights issue why are we taking baby steps on this let's attack the problem. Let's fix injustices. Let's fight for justice. It's sad that saying fight for justice is a thing that people are going to feel like irky about and that they're, they're going to be like, no. For justice. If anyone has questions or wants to talk, I'm more than willing to do so. I'm praying that the Black Lives Matter movement continues to grow and continues to get their message across.